Nijeku. Niger's junta finds support in Mali and Russia, but France stands firm. The leader of Russia and Mali have agreed the political crisis in Niger should be resolved using diplomacy and not force. Meanwhile, France has rejected accusations by Niger coup leaders that it's planning a military intervention. The Kremlin said President Putin and interim Malian leader Asimi Goita have talked by telephone at Bamako's request. They discussed the situation in Niger and said the political crisis sparked by a coup on July 6 should be resolved through political and diplomatic means. The comment came a day after Niger's military rulers accused former colonial power France of assembling troops, war materials, and equipment in several neighboring West African countries with a view to militarily intervene in the Sahel state. A rise in France-Niger tension relations with France have degraded with Paris standing by ousted President Mohamed Bazoum. Speaking from the G20 summit in India, French President Emmanuel Macron denied accusation by Niger that France was preparing to deploy its forces in ECOWAS, economic West African states, with the aim of a military aggression against Niger. Macron told journalists he did not recognize the legitimacy of the statement made by Niger's purchase, adding that he had daily phone conversation with the post-president Bazoum. Meanwhile, over the weekend, thousands of young Nigerians took to the streets to demand that French soldiers leave Niger. Most of them chanted, Macron, get out of our house. Rallies to protest the presence of 1,500 strong French military presence in Mali have attracted tens of thousands of people over the past 10 days. Demonstrators have gathered around the air base in the capital, Niamey, which hosts part of the French contingent. A Mali, Russia, Niger, Aziz, during his telephone exchange, with Putin, Goethe thanked Russia for, for voting an attempt by the U.S. Security Council to keep a team of U.N. experts in Mali. The experts had accused foreign forces, a veiled reference to the Russian mercenary group Wagner, of involvement in widespread abuses in Mali. Mali shares a long border with Niger, and immediately after the coup, its junta voiced support for Niger's new military rulers. It has on several occasions stated its opposition to military intervention there. Mali has shifted sharply to Russia since back-to-back -back coup in 2020 and 2021, becoming one of the few nations to back Moscow at the United Nations over its invasion of Ukraine. The Kremlin added that Putin and Goethe also discussed cooperation between Russia and Mali on economic and commercial issues and on anti-terror operations. ECOWAS leaders have threatened to intervene militarily in Niger, the fourth West African nation since 2020, to suffer a coup after Mali, Burkina Faso, and Guinea. The bloc suspended the four countries one after another. According to RFI's correspondent in West Africa, ECOWAS troops from Ghana and Senegal are ready to deploy. Thank you for watching and don't forget to follow us on Casa TV on YouTube and Facebook. Please remember to drop a comment, tell us what you think about our video and please help share our videos. Thank you.